Yo, what's going on guys, Benny here and welcome back to my Sunday League football experience. We are back for 2017 and resuming the season, hoping to turn around our form from last year because last year we were up and down, especially towards the end. Our opponents today are Dance and Albion. Last time we played them, we lost 4-2 and it wasn't a great result and a game that we should have been losing either. With that in mind, we wanted to get revenge and get the win today, giving us the three points. Can we do it? Let's find out. As always, just before we go into the match, if you guys want to see more Sunday League stuff, things you may not see on my channel, the extra stuff, behind the scenes stuff, head over to Slash Football, drop a sub and check them out. Now that that's out the way, it's time for kickoff. So we're ready to go, Dance and I are in red, we are in blue, Toby's saying a little prayer there and we might just need those given the 1-0 curse so far. But yeah, Luke kicks off and we're ready to go. They have an early attack which results in a corner, this number 5 gets his head to it there, it goes to Charlie, I try and clear this there, fail at clearing it and give them another chance at it. They cross it in, number five goes for it, but he heads it wide. So I got a bit lucky there. It's our turn a minute later up the other side and Charlie's played it out wide to me. I've tried to find Toby in there, number 17 cuts it out and nothing comes to that. This game was actually quite end to end at the start and uh, yeah, Joe cuts that one out. It goes to Connor and he eventually takes it down the line. Clips it forward, it looks like a nothing ball, but then Toby gets there and takes a snapshot. Goalkeeper looks to gather it and just about is helped by the number 20. We've just had a throw in taken here. Toby controls this on his thigh and switches the play very nicely out to me. He's then making his way into the box. Charlie's in support there, waiting for options in the box. I try and get the cross in, but I can't even keep it on the pitch. The game is slowly but surely tipping in our favour here as I take this forward and clip it to Toby. He takes a nice touch there, up against number 17 who seems to get there, but Toby gets across him, um, goes for the left foot shot, and he can't find the the target unfortunately. Decent effort though. We have the ball again on the halfway line as Jack pumps this one forward. It looks like it's going to Toby but it drops to Kieran. Kieran can't quite get his touch right there. Toby then comes across and causes the number 17 more problems. He's been on his case all game. He can't keep this one in though and that is the end of that. Just over 15 minutes played and by this point I feel like we were fully in control of the game. I have it on the right hand side. Set it back to Matt who takes his time, searches for a pass, plays it into the box. It's long and high but the goalkeeper gathers that. The goalkeeper's just released the ball early for them. Number 8 brings it down the line. 15 takes it and he is so so tall <laughs> look at the size of him but joe does enough to keep him at bay and deals with it connor then comes across but the number 15 takes him out and uh yeah it's a free to us for all the pressure we were having early on we never really turned it into chances but there was one that we knew went over the line referee did not give it though and it left our team fuming so toby has yet another goal disallowed it's not counted and yeah you can see that we are not happy with that decision at all anyway we can't dwell on that and luke who is finally back in after that eye injury he is there winning the headers in the middle again but this one goes to Toby he's taken on the number four plays it into the box it goes in towards Charlie goes back to Toby off of their player Charlie taps it in but this one's disallowed as well for offside which I'm pretty sure if it hits off their player or goes off their player it can't be given as an offside but yeah let me know what you think about that another disallowed goal we have a corner on the right hand side, Tommy plays it in, I'm challenging with the goalkeeper but he punches that away quite easily. We've lost the ball in the middle there, Tommy gets caught and the number 8 plays a decent ball forward for the lanky number 15 and look at him, look at him go, he's like a Peter Crouch in Sunday League but yeah, he takes a shot and Dan tips it round for a corner. They play it in and it's a high one, it looks like it might be difficult to deal with but we managed to kind of deal with it, um, quite a few of us trying to get that ball away, Jack tries to clear it, it goes back to their number 5 and he's offside so we get away with that one. In the middle and the number 20 takes a loose touch here I take the ball away from him nick possession and Charlie plays it forward for Toby Toby then takes it down the right hand side he waits for support tries to clip it into me I'm just trying to reach here and I just do some sort of swan lake flipping ballerina I don't even know what that was I'm just lunging there trying to reach the ball and uh, yeah it didn't quite work out with the way that we were playing and start this game it felt like we started 2017 off in the right way as Tommy tries to play this one out wide and the team cohesion everything that was going on at the start of the game it felt like it was only a matter of time before we scored and we thought we did there but Toby can't believe it I can't believe it the goalkeeper made a very very good save Moments later and a challenge from Jack leaves the goalkeeper on the floor. After the physio comes on and a bit of fluids, he's okay to continue on though. The ball's up in the air and Luke is challenging with the big number 15. He wins that duel though. Um, Jack flicks it over his head. Luke goes for some sort of bicycle kick pass. It works. Charlie takes it down, plays it through to Toby. Toby gets there ahead of the number five, pokes it at the goalkeeper though, and it's another good save. It also felt like this game, all the chances were falling to Toby as Luke plays this one in. Toby goes for a first time shot and the keeper gathers that quite easily. So yeah, at that point, Toby was left a frustrated figure, but he wasn't the only one as 
the number 8 clips his forward. Number 15 can't control it though and he's left frustrated too. This time it drops to the number 4, he plays it on, number 15 knocks it on, it's a good move. Number 8 can't finish it off though and it drags wide of the post. As you guys know, every week Sunday League is not Sunday League without a couple of fouls. Charlie wins that nicely, gets caught by the number 9. I get caught by the number 20 with a very late tackle and I wasn't happy with that one, I'll tell you that. The free kick goes in from Joe, it's long and high but they managed to head this one away with the number 17. They've just tried to launch one into the box, Jack clears it away and the ball drops towards the edge of the box to me. I then have a couple of numbers forward with me, I've got Kieran, Charlie and Toby all coming forward. I play it to Toby, Toby's using his pace there, tries to play a ball into the box, I think maybe he should have gone with his left foot there. Drops to Kieran but his shot is blocked. So, things weren't quite coming off for him but he was still working hard and it's Toby again battling up against the number 4, flicks it around him, then has the pace to just about get there ahead of that guy, gets a little clip, falls to Kieran, shot is blocked and it's cleared away. The number 20 was at this game as he takes a bad touch, I try and nick it off him, can't quite do that, Charlie gets ahead of number 9, flicks over and the number 20 absolutely wipes him out, so he got a yellow card at the end of that. A set piece is just broken down, I'm trying to retrieve possession, the number 9 just gives me a shove in the back, referee doesn't give anything, I'm trying to hold it up but eventually lose possession after being grabbed. Tension at this point is growing as Kieran takes this one on, plays it to Tommy who knocks it down the line to his brother, Charlie sets this one first time back to me, I knock it into the box, goalkeeper comes out for it, drops it but the referee gives a free kick. Surprise surprise and it's Luke winning another header in the middle, it drops to Tommy, he takes it out wide and uh, yeah, he plays the ball forward looking for Toby, Toby takes a very nice first touch, Charlie and the finish just speaks for itself, 1-0, what a goal that was, we're going to have to play this one again. Nothing of real note happened after that and the referee blows his whistle for half time. Also I'd like to point out that we didn't go down by a goal first so we might just have broken the 1-0 curse for 2017. I'm sure we'll find out soon. The second half begins and we have the ball on the right hand side with Matt. He plays into my feet there, I take a touch, knock it back to Tommy, he lines up a shot, goes for it, keeper tries to gather it first time but gets it second time of asking. We've just tried to find a way through there, it's cut out again by that number 17. Tommy plays it forward first time but I'm deemed offside, I don't know if I was or not but the referee gave it. Danson have it with the number 7, he tries to find his teammate number 15 who just falls over and speaking of falling over, just look at this. I don't know what happened with that number 20 there, but <laughs> he didn't have a good time, much to the amusement of everyone else. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to the camera here, but the number 3 is trying to bring it forward. He then clashes with Jack, causing an injury for Jack, and uh, yeah, he is then forced to come off. You might also want to note that Toby was off the pitch and Sam was on the pitch. It had been the first time I'd seen a... Uh, Sam in a while, but yeah, it was nice to have him back. Toby was just feeling a bit weird, so he went off for a bit. Danson are trying to get back in the game and get that equaliser. Number 8 clips it forward. Number 15, nice touch. Takes a shot, and it's a very, very good save from Dan. Can we get a replay on that, please? From the resulting corner, and it seemed like they had found their way back into the game. Number 17 wins that header, goes over Leon, and uh, fair play to them, they made it 1-1. After the goal, and it seemed they'd gained some momentum, the referee um, gives the advantage for a handball there on Matt, but then gives the free kick after they've taken the shot. Anyway, nothing happens from that, and Dan gathers it. Matt clips this one down the line, and watch this, because I feel Leon was very brave here. That is definitely high foot, nothing given, but fair play to him for going in for that. We're trying to tip the balance again as Tommy picks this one up and plays a very nice reverse ball into Charlie. Charlie takes it forward, got a bit of Space lines up the shot and it's not as good as the first one. Unlucky there, mate. Joe thumps this one up in the air and uh, it's quite a high one. I'm trying to uh, find a way to take this down, holding up the number three and eventually just get flung to the ground. But yeah, one a free kick there. Tommy plays this one in. Again, I'm trying to challenge with the goalkeeper there. He punches that out very well and he was quite good at that. But yeah, we have retrieved possession with Matt. He plays it down the line to Charlie. Charlie takes it away from the 17, cuts it back. I get there across and I hit the bar again. That's all I seem to be good for. But yeah, Sam gets on the end of it and we've made it 2-1. So it's, uh, it's a nice thing to be back in the lead and Sam scores again after coming back into the team. A couple of minutes later and Danson are on the attack again. I think Leon might have got nutmeg there. Number 15 with a good cross in. Number 8 goes for the header and it's marginally over the bar. We did really escape with that one. It's alright though because Leon proving his worth again and uh, yeah, he doesn't just score last minute headers as a goalkeeper. He can shield the ball too. Searching yet again for another equaliser and Danson have the ball. Number 5 clips it forward but it runs all the way through to Dan. They really weren't giving up easy and putting up a real good fight as the number 20 plays this down the line to the number 3 and uh, yeah, he then puts a cross into the box. It looks like a dangerous just one Dan does um, very bravely like Leon get out there and he takes one to the head so yeah 
He had a massive bump on his head after that, but he was up and ready to go. I mean, Leon, I do like to be nice. I don't like to pick on you, but yeah, again, that's just too easy. That number 15 is tearing you apart. He plays it into the box, so the cross isn't too great, and we managed to eventually deal with it and clear it away. From that corner, and more problems are being caused. As you see, there's a huge muddle up there, loads of our players there, but Leon is just that guy who can do bad stuff, but he can do great stuff like that, clearing the ball off the line. Referee was on the byline and said it wasn't a goal, so we got away with that one, and Leon did really well. Congratulations. They've got another corner just under 10 minutes left in the game, plus added time, but they can't do anything with that. Dan hits this goal kick forward as Tommy tries to flick it on, but he gets caught there and goes down. Our players are there screaming for the ball to go out, but we eventually do actually benefit from it. As Joe plays this on, Toby takes on three guys here, just uses the pace really well, burst in between those guys, he's got me in support there. Um, I take a bad touch there, just trying to reach for it, and eventually actually do tip it past the goalkeeper. So we made it 3-1, and I've started 2017 off in a good way, with a goal. 3-1 down they may be, but Danton Albion are still not giving up as they play this one forward. Great touch from the number 15 there and a great pass as well. Number 8 goes through, Joe challenges with him and then even does so well to get us a goal kick there. We are now into added time as Charlie clips this one forward for Toby. Toby is then chasing for it. He's got time, maybe a bit too much time as he still doesn't put it away. So it wasn't his day and it's another chance gone begging. That is pretty much it for today's game as they try and clip this one forward. Um, I think it's Sam in there winning the first header, Luke getting the second header and the referee blows his whistle uh, for the end of the game. So 3-1, we started 2017 off in a good way with a win just like we were hoping for, but can we continue that? Uh, like I said, tune in next week for the very, very important games. I think that should be out on Monday. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of Sunday League though. If you have, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Before you were sick, but you should have known better than to play with the power. Should have known, you should have known. Us man, a cold, us man, said linky and shower. Shower, shower. Thought you were smart, but you lack car. Us man, equipped with the flows. We're quick, we're quick. Should have known better than to spot. Us man, got the game on their toes. Before you were sick, but you should have known better than to play with the power.